And then he flipped on it, spit it out and walked away. <laughs> That's disgusting. Oh, hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. Welcome to the Super Slow Show. Dan, I've noticed that since we've been out here in the desert, we're getting pretty tanned. Yeah. We're spending too much time in, under the sun. Absolutely true. Which is why I've built this lovely break room for us. Oh, yeah. lovely. Tremendous. You like the finish? I love the finish. You've done a really good job on it. Thanks. I think the crew's going to be jealous. And we're going to kit it out with, you know, home theatre, some nice recliners, a couple of Xboxes, yeah, yeah, yeah. lab coat steamers, and a, probably a kettle. Finish it off. Oh, I need to get my coffee. It reminds me. You got the key? My key's inside. You didn't lock it. Oh. Uh, you know what? I put in... I, I remember I put that, that extra way in the house, the... The, like the failsafe. Oh, okay. the way to open the house in case we lock the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> what are the chances? First I know, right? Move in as well. God. You have to get the locks changed again. I can't believe it. Yeah. How annoying. I never do that. I never do that either. What happened to us? Oh, well. <sighs> Well, luckily I always carry backups, so... Three, two, one! Oh! oh. May have... May have overdone it there. I think you set off someone's car alarm. That is... Oh, yeah. At least the door's open. Ah. Bit excessive, I think. I mean, it did the job, though. It's true. You can't argue that it wasn't a functional failsafe. Maybe I can get my coffee. Yeah, it's probably in there. You bought enough materials to build another one, didn't you? Was uh, that it? That, that was it. Uh, thankfully, we recorded that at 1,000 frames a second and 2,000 <laughs> frames a second with two phantom cameras. That's handy, wasn't it? That's lucky, I suppose. Let's go see what it looked like. Oh, look at the detonation. You see all the... Uh... Dust on the ground move. You see, it already shook the camera. The shockwave just rushed towards the camera. Whoa. <laughs> see how far some of that debris flung there? The debris. Debris. Some of the debris landed all the way back there. Must be about 100 feet at least. Oh, you can see it blow out the windows before it goes. Before anything happens, the windows move. That's so weird. Overpressure just causes the whole thing to burst. <laughs> it just the house just burst. It just popped. That would be essentially incredibly painful to be in front of that. Well, oh, yeah, your insides would be all shook up. What's interesting though is that there's places around that where if you were stood, you may not have been hit by anything. Obviously, you'd feel the pressure wave, but that's a good point. I suppose <laughs> if you, you, I reckon there's a spot at least like two meters away where you'd be absolutely fine. Yeah, and everything would just go either side of you. Yeah, you'd be such a badass if you stood there. <laughs> Explosions are always a lot more interesting when it's very dusty out, just because, A, the shockwave lifts up a layer of dust on the ground, mm. and it also sends dust flying. There's more action. Going much on. more action. Sorry. Where was that? It, it was in the inner pocket it's of the pocket. Let's go check your inner, inner pocket. We blew up the house for nothing. <laughs> well, hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to subscribe to the Slow Mo Guys, and we'll see you in the next episode of the Super Slow Show. Not from our house, though. The key bit was a bit. We knew yeah. we had it the whole time. We were going to blow it up all the whole long. Oh! Hello, Internet. Be sure to click here for the latest updates on the Super Slow Show. Yeah, click over there and you'll actually get to see Gavin step out from behind the camera and get his hands dirty. It's true, actually. I had to use soap. Did you get both of them dirty? Both hands. Unbelievable. <gasps> well done. Yeah.